Hey everybody, welcome back. So, last time we left off with needing to get the law firm, Hell's Lawyers, here in uh, Hell's Kitchen, set up for our 15 lawyers. So we have 15 computers, desks, and chairs. And uh, we're hoping that by sticking with lawyers for now, we're not going to be doing a lawyer run, just so you guys are aware. And I know it's been a while since I've been on, but my mind hopefully remembers correctly in that I was sticking with lawyers because they paid the most right now, but I still want to do all office environments everywhere. So we're still going to be doing other offices, but we're going to start with Hell's Lawyers today. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this situated, get this started and make some money. So I'm almost done putting this stuff in the office. Now I felt like I, I needed to explain what's kind of been going on. So essentially the last month now, uh, I've been taking care of my mom. Uh, she unfortunately is uh, not doing too well. Um, she has a couple conditions that I mean, one of them on their own is, is incredibly dangerous, but both of them combined is even more dangerous, unfortunately. She has uh, pulmonary arterial hypertension, a very severe case of it. Unfortunately, genetic. Nothing that she did in her life, unfortunately, caused it. It is literally her genetics, which she has adopted, so we have no idea what her family history is. And uh, she's one of those people that, that who's been adopted, and this is her prerogative honestly it is I, I really don't mind but uh she's one of those people that does not want to know who her family her birth family was she knows who her actual family is obviously but yeah she doesn't want to know who her birth family is and uh that's led to some unfortunate side effects of not knowing what lies ahead even for myself i have no idea what i'll run into but uh yeah she has pulmonary arterial hypertension and uh, just recently in this past month, which is why I've been gone, um, is actually I took her on a routine visit in regard to the pulmonary arterial hypertension, the PAH is what I'll call it now. Um, and it was discovered that she has a mitral valve regurgitation, which I'm a layman. I'm not an expert. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly how to describe it other than there is a valve. I believe it's on the... Um, the aortic valve, uh, that basically opens and closes as your heart beats and it allows blood to pass through. But when it's, you know, when she has this condition, what ends up happening is the valve on her end, it's severe. The doctor told her it's a severe case of mitral valve regurgitation, which means that blood, blood flow is, is not flowing properly through her heart and the valve just stays open. And so blood, unoxygenated blood is flowing back. I believe it's flowing backward is how that works, but it, it's uh, it's regurgitating. And combine that with PAH, it is a very dangerous combo. Now, they're going to be doing surgery on her and uh, replacing that valve, but there was a lot of back and forth because, because of the PAH, the doctors were concerned that she could just die on the table. So that's that's kind of what we I've been dealing very <laughs> very short overview of what I've been dealing with. And uh, on top of all that, I the doctor there, her doctor, her cardiologist told me that I should get myself screened to make sure that uh, you know I'm I'm not looking at anything in the future. And for myself, unfortunately. I have the mitral valve regurgitation. However, it's a mild iteration of it right now, at least. So I also have a heart condition on top of my current heart condition of preventricular contractions, which are not very fun at all. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Super not fun. Uh, it's a very scary feeling, although mostly benign. But now with this combining together, it could also be pretty catastrophic as time goes on but uh if there are any doctors out there <laughs> let me know if i'm kind of uh, overblowing it for myself here i know for my mom i'm not but for myself it could be pretty bad 
but that's that's kind of what's been going on that's why i've been gone and i'm, I'm sorry guys i i was really mia for a while but i i hope you understand the situation you know i was in my family was in and you know all that combined it was very stressful very stressful and uh i i frankly neither had the time nor the drive to record to tell you the truth guys it was really hard to function i mean between taking my mom to the hospital and then going back and forth i mean i have to drive 45 minutes one way to get there i don't live close to my mom unfortunately and that might change soon as well who knows but anyway i'm getting distracted things kind of were bad they're getting better that's where i'm at i'm hoping things you know trend towards better moving forward but we'll see we'll see anyway guys so yeah, as you saw, I got that all situated inside the law firm. I don't have any reason to uh, not decorate this place. So what I'm thinking, actually, let's contact Ikebal Hag. And let's let's get some stuff in there. Let's let's make it look a little bit better. So let's get a coffee table, a carpet, a nice sofa. You know they're going to want their their clock and their bookshelf. I don't think we need music. Let's get some paintings in. Actually, you know, I'm not going to take these. These are don't scream law firm to me. <laughs> uh, let's get some let's get the fridge cuz they want the break room, of course. TV for the break room, water cooler. Let's see, what else can we snag here? Yeah, let's get a couple planter boxes. Let's do these vases, let's do four of them. Yeah, I think that should work. Oh, uh, we have a coffee maker, yep, cheap coffee machine have no withdrawals all right cool i think this looks good i think that should be perfectly sufficient let's order that hopefully i didn't order anything else which doesn't look like i did perfect cool all right so let's uh let's get that situated get the stuff in there tomorrow and get our lawyers in i'm not going to train them beyond the 50 percent so well rather let me show you here what i got so, or, there we go. These guys are all training and I have them at 49 to 50%. I'm just doing one training session and that's how I'm going to do it. So let's get these guys trained up. Let's get the place filled in and go from there. Okay, guys. So I have the stuff that I ordered in now, which I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's a nice little break room here. I know there's no table or chairs, but they can all eat their desks. It's not too bad. We have no problem with that. But uh, yeah, pretty simple layout, pretty simple interior. We're just, you know, selling our law firm skills. So, so uh, doesn't need to be too pretty, but uh, just a little bit longer for everyone to get trained up. We're at 11 a.m. right now. They need to wait until 1700 or 5 p.m. So we'll uh, get them scheduled in. But I'm thinking, you know, what what place should we do next? Let's take a gander at what our options are. So right now, let's look at the offices here. Law firms, web development, graphic designer. So this is what's, wow. There are a lot of graphic designers in Hell's Kitchen. That is a tremendous amount, but only one web development agency, it looks like, which is, actually pretty good so what do they look like at the moment a little bit more than i can actually afford obviously so that's not too bad but what are our office options oh there's two of them i didn't see this guy 163 damn i don't have enough <laughs> i could buy them out or at least try to and then rework the entire interior but how are we looking in midtown 
Oh my god, Midtown has a ton of graphics designers. Jeez, oh Pete's guys. Do you really need so many? Wow, okay. <laughs> and then obviously the Garment District. Uh, What's Lower Manhattan look like? Web development agencies. Tons of them. We have our law firm. Graphic designers are a little bit better. Alright, so now that we know what's in each area, let's look at the Market Insider here. We want demand. Actually, no. Let's do product. It's probably easier this way. So let's look first at... I'm not going to do Garment. Let's look at Lower Manhattan. So programmer hourly is 29% demand. That's $150 an hour. Obviously we have our lawyer, same thing, 29%, 250. 31% for graphic designers, 150. So the same as the web web uh, programmer fee. Exactly the same actually, it looks like. Yeah, it's exactly the same, $150.65. But the demand is higher. But you'd think with the plethora of graphics designers that they have. I guess I wouldn't really call that a plethora, would I? I want to make sure. Or Manhattan, yeah. So one, two, three, four. So they have four graphic designers. Hmm. This makes it tough. I mean, I guess I just kind of just choose one because no matter where I go, the demand's going to be bleh. Anyway. Hell's Kitchen's out of the question simply because there are no office spaces. Midtown, however, is 660, huh? Is that the big one? Yeah, that's the big one. Hmm. Yeah, let's take this one. And let's do... Might as well just do web development. So we're going to call this. Hmm. Full stack development. Ah. Full stack dev. All right. Let's get these settings changed up here. Turn into the at that icon. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. So that looks good. All right. So we have a customer capacity per hour. If we go back to our map here of 50, but a traffic of 37. I don't think we need to do 50 like right now, at least, but we can at least get started on that place. So let's, let's turn these off. So we don't have these just showing up everywhere. Perfect. That's cleared out. All right, so we need to get that place situated next. Let's call Mr. Scott's. Hey, Mr. Scott. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make your dreams come true. God, that episode is so cringy. That's such a hard episode to watch. I've never, I, I can't, it's so hard to watch. <laughs> It is a uh, episode that hurts the brain. How a man can promise what he promised only to renege on it so badly too. Oof, so bad. All right, computers, desks, chairs, got a coffee machine, no way to put it on anything. Hmm. I think that should suffice. Printer. I don't know why I need a printer, but we're adding one. Let's add the meeting table too. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Let's order that for Tuesday at 10. Perfect. So in the meantime, we just need to get the lawyers in. We need to get the business opened up. What I'm going to be doing is, oops, wrong one. Let's go to that guy there. Schedule. So eight hours a day six days a week again from a suggestion in the comments to do uh, six days a week that should be fine they should be able to handle that so uh we'll we'll work on that for sure but uh 
just gotta get them in and start making some money so i'll see you here once that is started all right guys so we are at the web design agency here in midtown we have no interior yet and i'm thinking what is the easiest way to do this without making it look too drab so let's do this blue it's too bad you can't like put murals on the wall and, and stuff like that it'd be really cool to add more than just you know wallpaper and stuff there, there there should be many different avenues of approach for your interior design and you know just to add a little bit more flavor to the game which maybe they are doing that i mean i, I really don't know to be honest with you guys i, I don't know but it'd be very fun honestly it'd be fun to see just you know kind of change it up you know you have you guys been inside a business before where they have like a cool mural on the wall or like you know maybe they did like a design logo on the wall for their business name like how cool would that be and even in the retail businesses to do stuff like that rather than just having this plain color essentially i think it'd be super fun anyway that's what we're starting with nice bright blue with white flooring not too bad we have our first delivery oops i gotta get this moved over here let's grab that anyway we have our first delivery here and once again i've grabbed computers and not the desks I'm just gonna move those there let's grab the desks i'm just gonna lay them out for now you know how i do Oh, it's been a while. Maybe you guys forgot. <laughs> Might as well just leave this layout as is anyway. All right. So just the last two chairs to put in here. Now we need to tell our headhunter here to stop recruiting lawyers because we don't need them right now and get us some programmers here same exact parameters which is perfect for me we'll search for them let's just get rid of these guys 554 of them <laughs> anyway so we have those lawyers open now they open today i accidentally forgot to turn them on essentially turn the open up the business so they missed the first two hours of the day sorry <laughs> We made 13,000 yesterday from our businesses. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Midtown Legal getting 20,000. Della's Law getting 4,100. And then uh, BKA Designs is still not turning a profit, which is not good. So let's see what's going on there. Pricing. They hate. Okay, then. I have the lowest market price, but okay. So let's do 135. Let's see if that changes things. Cause that is not gonna work out let's see they are in they're in murray hill someone explain to me what's going on because if i have the lowest market price Why is my pricing so bad? Like they absolutely hate it. Huh. I'm perplexed guys. That doesn't make any sense to me. It flat out doesn't. All right. Well, well I lowered it by $10 an hour. Let's see if that makes any difference, but uh, I forgot to show you guys this. I'm sure you actually just saw it, but just so you see it one more time, looks pretty nice. Very basic. I'm thinking about just doing these window units moving forward and all these offices. I'll, in fact, I'll just do this. So people can have the cool desk. <laughs> Only the cool people sit at these desks. 
Anyway, so let's look back at wrong one there. Let's look back at our PKA designs again. So the customer over time, I mean, it seemed to be sufficient. The, so this is Saturday, Sunday, by the way, just so you guys are aware. This is Monday. So we had 73 people walking in. However, it doesn't seem like anybody bought anything. I mean, they, they barely made any money at all. So I'm really kind of, oh, what? I know this is the last seven days, but hmm. Let's let's keep it at this. So I had it at 153 before and they didn't like it, but I'm going to go to 135 and let's hope for the best. So let's just get home. We got to move the day forward by a day because I mean, we, we need to get our candidates in anyway. So let's find a taxi cab. I have yet to buy, bought a, uh, buy a car. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Why don't we do that real quick? Let's go buy a car. If only buying your car was this easy. All right. Uh, General U.S. trucks. Oh, there it is. City cars. All right. I could always do the Vord V150, but I don't really need that type of space. So I'm a, a burgeoning office business owner. I'm going to drive a Misam. A Misam villain. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the Nissan Rogue. We're going to go with this beautiful blue. Nice little compact SUV. Hopefully it's quick. Probably not. Ooh, it's agile though. Nice. All right, we got to make it home. I missed my turn or rather I should have just stayed on this road or the original road I was on rather. All right. So one thing I need to make sure I'm doing as well is once I've started starting to get, you know, more money in on a regular basis, I need to pay off the loans. Like I said, I was going to do before. Tell me that tiny little tap did 3%. Come on. Come on. All right. Home sweet home. And you know what? I never do this. Let's get this done too. I got to start living it up. I got to start making sure that my rooms in my homes are nice and at least detailed with color so it's not this bland drywall at all times oopsie there 1500 bucks there we go not too bad all right so let's move the day forward we're just going to do this together we'll start rated right eight all right, so we made $24,000, which isn't bad. Now, BKA Designs have finally turned a profit. So that's what it was. They must have just hated the 145 even. So that that's great. That works out. We'll stick it at 135 and leave it there. So if we go back to their business, still 73. That's okay. But look at the pricing. 82% now, which is great. Now, how's lawyers? We had 66 customers. Again, we're only, we have a 50 space, but it's 15 per hour right now that we have. Customer service is low. That's to be expected and unfortunate, but it is what it is. But we'll, we'll manage that right now. Did they even make money? They did thousand thousand dollars. That's okay. Thousand dollars is, is still a profit. And it'll always go up. I think the first day, be it retail or office, is always the worst. So, in that same vein, why don't we just do this one more time? This gives us two days worth of candidates. 
with our headhunter. There we go. That's a good jump. Who contacted us? William? Billiam? All right. So we have candidates now. There we go. We need 10. Perfect. And these are all at 59 plus. We're just going to hire them on. Yep. It's 8.03 a.m. Let's go here and give them a uniform first. I wonder, do retail businesses, are, are they the only ones that need uniforms? Hmm. Whatever. I'm going to give them the, I, I know I call it graphics. I'm just going to web program graphics, whatever. It doesn't matter really. We'll just do that. Assign them to our full stack dev business. Yep. And then we need to move everyone over. Notice they said clean work environment. I'm wondering if we're going to run into a point where we're going to need to hire cleaners. I don't think I've ever in my prior playthroughs, I don't think I ever did cleaners in offices. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. All right, cool. They are started. Excellent. Eight hours a day, 48 hours a week. Perfect. 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 Does someone, uh, five days a week. Really? Josephine. There you go. Oh, and Richard. All right, there we go. That should be better. So we're only going to have eight on Saturdays. That's fine. I really don't care. That's okay. But Dell's law firm is closed. Oh, because I have them starting at nine, nine to seven. Gotcha. Forgot I did that. All right. So now that we're looking at this, we're hoping that BKA designs will make more money moving forward. In fact, look at that. The traffic went right back to where it needs to be 91, which is good. Pricing now they're at hundred percent. Customer surface is going up a little bit as well. Cleanliness is at 91%. So I think I'm going to need to start getting some uh, cleaning stations here. Hey kid. That's what Fred always calls you, right? Kid. <laughs> That's cute. Anyway, have fun with your little business, but don't give me any reason to worry about you, all right? Keep it small, kid. You don't know me. Comment down below if you re understand that reference. <laughs> oh, just breaking the law here. All right, let's go get some cleaning stations. We're going to fill up the place places rather with cleaning stations so that we can get our cleaners in there and just get every place cleaned up since that seems to be oh geez seems to be a worry I learn something new every day what's my space 12 perfect awesome that's actually a decent oh when do they open nine that's right that's not what I want to do. All right, so we have. Did I get a cleaner for this one? No. What about Dela's Law? Yes. Okay, so I only need one, two, three, four. I need four. Perfect. That's all I can carry. Excellent. All right. First stop is let's do it this way. Hell's lawyers. Plop, plop, plop. And finally, plop. All right. So as you can tell, everything is dirty in here. So we definitely needed cleaners. So let's tell our headhunter now to stop recruiting and get some cleaners in here. 
Oh, I should have been having. I should have had that selected the entire time. Oh well. Now we'll start getting some cleaners, which is totally. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. I don't care about them costing the most. We want highest level cleaners right now, of course. But yeah, let's get that done. And then I think we can uh, honestly pull it for today. I might keep these videos honestly a little bit shorter moving forward, given my current time constraints as I've explained. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking I need to uh, first off figure out how to drive again because I'm already at 48% durability and that was literally just driving around town to get to these places. So there's five grand. <laughs> let's get some gas, I guess, while we're here. But uh, I need to I need to figure out a, a different game to start playing as well because I am gonna eventually want to deviate away from just doing big ambitions, and I'm sure you guys are wanting to see something different as well. I, I've tried playing Manalords. They they updated it and broke my save, so I had to stop playing that one at least for the time being. And uh, I had going medieval going, but then an update also broke that save theoretically broke it it still works but it doesn't work right the changes unfortunately kind of messed things up so i had to stop doing that and at one point i had Baldur's gate 3 going that was actually my first series that i did on this channel and like no one watched it <laughs> so i switched to this and here we are but yeah i mean i would love to hear from you guys what you think i should uh check out next but uh, in the time being, let's get, I don't know what I'm doing here. Me talking plus trying to figure out what I'm doing is not working out. So I need to go back to my car here and let's, uh, let's get home. In fact, I'll just stay parked there. Let's just run. Let's run to home together. It feels weird not doing retail still. I feel like I'm, I'm missing a piece, if you will. But it is what it is. Let's get up at 1019. Made 34,000 yesterday. Not too bad. Got plenty of candidates here. Two, three, four. Perfect. We'll hire them. Let's talk to the headhunter. Stop your recruiting. Let's talk to HR. Let's assign these employees. Fill. Okay, perfect. So these last three, he doesn't want insurance, so we'll do that. There we go. We need another HR manager eventually here, but for now, we're just going to stick with the one because those other four people that aren't currently HR managered are... Uh, I don't need any type of insurance. So let's get rid of all these. So you, so if I remember correctly, the one that has a cleaner right now is Della's Law. So all the other ones are the ones that need it. So let's do this first. Let's assign your uniform. Cleaners, perfect. So you are going to full stack. You are going to Hell's Lawyers, Midtown, BKA Designs. Perfect. So, full stack, what's going on here? Why aren't you making money? Oh, you are making money. You're making a very little amount of money, unfortunately. If I did 135, it's the lowest. Okay, cool. I'll stick with that. All right, so on the schedule, Sarah is full time. There we go. I'm just going to do that. I know that. Oh, I know this one. This one didn't have those people. Okay, so. Hell's Lawyers. Midtown Legal. Enrique. Perfect. Nope. Wow. No weekends, huh? And finally, BKA Designs. 
There we go. Looks good. Perfect. Now, which one of these was a full stack? Or was it Hell's Lawyers? One of these. Whatever. I'll, I'll eventually get a text message for them. <laughs> All right. So if we do another 24 hours, we should see some better cleanliness. Still making 34,000, which is decent. All right. Let's see what happened to full stack. Pricing's good. Looks good. We sold 60 yesterday at 135. Also good. Crown of view looking better. 4,200 now. Office some LLC. That's our, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Office empire. You forget things when you haven't played for a while. I can tell you that. Satisfaction looking all right. I think this is a good place to stop. Personally speaking. We are making 34,000. We're doing pretty decent there. We can actually pay this guy off. So let's pay you off. We have another 200,000 that we need to pay off. We need 194,000 for that. That's okay. Looks good. All right. If you're wondering what I'm looking at right now, a little jumping spider is crawling up my diffuser. Interesting. Anyway, don't know where he came from. But yeah, once again, guys, I... Thank you very much for your patience with me. I, I really appreciate those that have stuck around. I know some of you are probably kind of like, what's the big deal? Why aren't you here? But now you know, hopefully you understand why I've been gone. And I, I, I do have to give you the caveat and all this is that I, there may be a time again here coming up where I'm not available, to be honest with you. It, it, it very well could change, unfortunately. But um, for now, I'm going to hopefully keep going with this. At the moment, I'm going to be... Probably doing videos very sparingly because of the situation. I still, like I said, I'm taking care of my mom. So I do have that going on. But for now, I'm back. It's good to be back. I'm, I'm happy to keep going and I am not stopping. This is not like a, a, a future permanent stop or anything like that. So don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. It helps me out. It lets me know you guys want to see more of me and it is just, it's helpful. I appreciate it. Of course. And uh, yeah, until next time, I appreciate you. Bye-bye.